Hello everyone, this is Raven from Digi Integrity. Welcome to Tech News episode 280. Xiaomi has revealed the launch date for the Xiaomi 11T Pro 5G for India. The device will launch on January 19th in India. The Xiaomi 11T Pro 5G has a 120Hz AMOLED display, 120W fast charging and a Snapdragon AAA processor. The Samsung Galaxy S21 Fan Edition price in India starts at Rs 49,999 including Rs 5,000 HDFC bank cash card. The key specifications include a 120Hz AMOLED display, Exynos 2100 processor and runs on Android 12 OS and comes with a triple rear cameras. This device goes on sale on January 11th in India. Samsung will host its Galaxy Unpacked event 2022 virtually on February 8th and will unveil the Galaxy S22 series during this event. The pre-registration for the purchase of the Galaxy S22 models is set to start on February 9th. The shipments of pre-order units will reportedly begin from February 21st, while the Galaxy S22 series handsets are set to go on regular sale starting from Feb 24. Techno teased its sensor shift IS technology for smartphone cameras back in mid-December and is now announcing a telescopic macro lens that promises a significantly improve not only the quality of macro shots but also the world experience taking them. Moto G71 is the latest G-series phone to launch in India. The key specifications include a 33W fast charging support, a 6.4-inch OLED display, Snapdragon 695 processor. Moto G71 5G price in India is set for Rs 18,999. Lenovo Patent Imager shows a laptop will have a provision to house a tablet. The tablet can be removed from the laptop and be used as a standalone device. The Lenovo laptop's display features a slit for the tablet to slide in or out. Honor through a launch event also saw a curtains lift on Magic UI 6 and Honor Watch GS3 and it also launched the Honor Magic 5 foldable smartphone. Its main focus is on providing the perfect combination of a regular smartphone when folded a large screen when unfolded. The outer display keeps a 21 to 9 aspect ratio with extremely slim bezels because of which the Magic 5 looks and feels like any other smartphones when folded. This 120Hz panel is sized at 6.45 inch and has a peak brightness of thousand nits. The inner display on the other hand comes with a near square 10 is to 9 aspect ratio and has a 90 hertz refresh rate. This smartphone is available in 12 GB RAM and a 256 GB storage and 12 GB RAM and 512 GB variants. And it can be sold for a starting price of around 9,999 Chinese yuan, that is approximately 1,568 US dollars. It is available in space silver, black, and burnt orange color options. In box, you get a 66 watt Honor supercharge brick, 66 watt car charge and a fiber phone case. Hyundai Mobi showed Ambition Pop electric vehicle and Ambition 2GO hydrogen fuel cell vehicle with 90 degree rotating wheels. Both the concept vehicles are for shared mobility and will feature the company's folding steering vehicle. Both the concept vehicles are for shared mobility and will feature the company's folding steering wheel. Traditional washing machines need a lot of water and detergent to clean a batch of dirty clothes. It usually leads to wastage of clean water and adds more pressure to the already degrading environment. Citing this concern, LG has taken up the responsibility of developing a completely waterless washing machine for the commercial markets. The technology involves using carbon dioxide as a replacement for water in washing machines. Now LG has found a way to turn environmental carbon dioxide from its natural gas form into a liquid state by a refrigeration and compression process. After turning the gas into a liquid state, the LG waterless washing machine could be able to wash dirty clothes using no water or detergent at all. Reliance Geo partners with NPCI to roll out a new UPI auto pay feature for prepaid users. The new feature allows automatic prepaid recharges up to Rs 5000 without the requirement of an UPI pin. The new feature is limited to prepaid users for now. Realme unveiled the Realme GT2 Pro in China. The brand will soon launch the Realme GT2 series globally and in India as well. Furthermore, the brand plans to launching more tablets and laptops soon. The Redmi K50 smartphone has been spotted on the Geekbench database with the model number displayed on the screen. This device runs on the Snapdragon 870 processor, 12GB RAM and runs on Android 12. The Redmi K50 series is expected to launch soon under different monikers depending on the region. The megapixel race has slowed down but it is not over. Last year with the light hand of Samsung, the industry reached the milestone of 200 megapixel. Then they started talking about the fact that Xiaomi would be the first to install a new sensor in its smartphone and do it not in the flagship but in a middle class device. 
Last week, Omnivision presented its 200 megapixel OV Bob sensor. Predictions has appeared that the smartphone with this sensor could be the first to be released by Xiaomi. Razer Z Flip Pro has been launched at $150 US dollars and will be up for sale later this year. This face mark builds on the top of Razer Z Flip that went on sale in October last year. Z Flip Pro sports a transparent design with two large air vents for easy air intake. A team of Israeli researchers at a Ben Gurion University developed an FOV a fish operated vehicle. The driver seat has been occupied by none other than the goldfishers. Goldfishers are capable of transferring to a wholly different terrestrial environment and navigate successfully Israeli researchers have found after training fish to drive. The FOV a fish operated vehicle is a robotic car fitted with a lidar, a remote sensing technology that uses pulsed laser light to collect data on the vehicle's ground location and the fish whereabouts inside a mounted water tank a computer camera electric motors and an omni wheels give the fish control of the vehicle boat a dob 601 active noise cancellation price in india is set for rupees 3999 the true wireless earbuds feature hybrid active noise cancellation 28 hour battery life and more a dob 601 active noise cancellation will go on sale from 12 pm via flipkart the little known Texas company Onward Mobility aiming to restrict the BlackBerry brand from the dead with a brand new BlackBerry 5G phone. The upcoming BlackBerry smartphones will be 5G enabled and will run Android operating system. Will enough new and old BlackBerry fans will be happy adjusting to a thinner screen for the sake of typing on a physical keyboard. Earlier today, news broke that Tencent will officially acquire the Black Shark gaming phone brand in China. Hours after those talks, the popular Chinese tipster revealed that the company also has a plans for launching the Black Shark 5 series this year. We can expect that Black Shark 5 series is coming up with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor, big battery and a 144Hz screen display. Apple's budget iPhone Software Edition model is expected to get an upgrade in March or April 2022. The iPhone Software Edition 3 will offer 5G connectivity and a faster processor. In terms of design, the iPhone Software Edition 3 will look similar to the iPhone 8 and previous Software Edition models iPhones are easily the most popular smartphone series in the world today with over 1 billion users worldwide. The company launched the iPhone 13 models in September 2021, but the beginning was marked by the first iPhone in January 9, 2007. And guess what, it's been 15 years since the first iPhone was unveiled by Apple co-founder Steve Jobs at the Macworld event in 2007. The debut of the iPhone almost marked the end of BlackBerry phones. BlackBerry recently ended support for all the BlackBerry OS smartphones. Vivo's Y33T is the company's latest Y series phone. This answered shipped with a Snapdragon 680 processor, 50 megapixel triple camera, a 5000 mAh battery, Android 12 OS, and a 16 megapixel selfie snapper. Vivo Y33T price in India is set for rupees 18,990. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share, and subscribe, and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.